I'm in the studio of Beatrice Mellinger, Bela, in um, Barbados. Barbados. How yes. are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good and you? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Good to see you. I'm glad to be here. The sun is shining through the windows, and I'm glad to be at your studio. Okay, yes. thank yes. you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, the vacation has been great. Thanks for having me. Um, I wanted to just expand on some of the processes of your new work. I know you've been here. Okay. Um, Close to a year now, mm -hmm. and you have discovered a new, a new form of art. Yes. But it's very related to the art that you've always created. Um, and as you mentioned to me before, some of the things that you do is related to all the travels that you have. Yes. Um, but talk a little bit about the process, some of the new works that you have uh, been working on. Okay. Um, Hi everybody, seeing me. <laughs> we are here, as Tim just said, in my studio in Barbados. I've been living in Barbados um, for about two years now. Um, before that, I was in Brazil, and so now I'm in the Caribbean, totally different. So um, today, we're going to talk about my new works. There's a new series called um, Coal um, High Tide. Right. And high tide is about coral reefs that are at risk in the Caribbean due to pollution, uh, watershed-based uh, pollution and sedimentation. Okay. Uh, also overfishing. Yeah. Um, and of course, uh, the rising temperature. Do the title high um, high tide. I choose the title because of um, the sea level is rising because of global warming. Okay. okay. So, okay. Um, this one is the fourth one. And it goes in this direction. Now. And oh, it oh. goes in that direction. Oh, so, beautiful, beautiful. So, first what I did, uh, I dove to take pictures of the coral reef. Yes. Then, um, I uh, possessed the pictures to have one. For example, for this one, I have different pictures. Uh, I have uh, about five pictures wow. combined uh, with Photoshop. So uh, it's um, photo editing. So it's like a montage of different yes, things. Yes, yes, montage. Take photos. Yeah, yes, just yeah, just taking the photo uh, of the reef and then um, combining them, do the design yes. and combining them and we have that result so i had them printed for me in the u.s when they come back when they came back um i wanted to work over them uh with a uh, mixed major technique right. so the mixed major technique that i use is, is um screen printing okay. um painting right. um obviously photo photo editing because we we had the photography and um, and a lot of the words that you have yeah, are screen and the, printed. And which yes, talking a little bit about that a little earlier. The, yes. Uh, so the the the, um, the words that are here are um, poetry about ocean. I tend to work with poetry as much as I can. <laughs> yeah. Know, the, the, many of you know the work, and her, her words are very important to the image, and they become part of the image as exactly. well. Exactly. So you have you have different words in different places, although we, when we tilted it, it goes this direction, so you can actually read some of the words, or not yeah, read them, not read them. The design, yeah, it's right. part of the design, and you, actually you can play with the word, because as we can see, mm -hmm. some of the words are not, you know, from left to right, so you have to turn your head, so you, s you can follow the flow, I mean, this is the That's flow nice. of the waves, right. you know, and uh, it's the energy, everything that is written over here it's for me it's mean the energy of the waves okay okay and so i, work I love on the so surface too yeah. i mean the surface mm. i think is probably what grabs me the most you know so mm -hmm. i know that that's an important part of it speak a little bit about this i think i guess corals have surface and maybe that's the reason why it mean you know you're trying to suggest yes uh, what i wanted to show is that we have still beauty underwater we must preserve that for the future generations um, because it will disappear because what happened in the Caribbean right now mm -hmm. is because of the global warming uh, the corals are 
are bleaching, so they are becoming white oh. and they are dying. Oh wow. So we, 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 we must be aware of that because it's beautiful. And um, the way I possess, because what I wanted to do here is to show the colors, the transparency, mm -hmm. and, and um, the atmosphere of the underwater world. So I use specific colors and specific paints, iridescent and interference paint. So the interference paint, um, depending on the way you look at the painting, mm -hmm. the color is changing. Yeah. Like it's changing in nature. Yeah, we talked about the iridescent mm. quality mm. and the way the light hits it and so forth. And that's an important part. Yes. Because I guess you probably see many lights when you're diving. Exactly. In the water too, yeah. Right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes. So that's this is what I try to explain in the painting. And um, I also use raw pigments on, on top of certain area because I want to put little focus, not too much, because the, the image is already, um, is already saying a lot. So I wanted to put some focus on some, carefully, yeah, carefully. So, so paint her on there, you have embellished some areas and strong yeah, yeah. going into surface to bring out the surface exactly, even more exactly. um, as you move along and work on the canvas. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, I can see some of those areas. That's very nice. And then I'm just reading something. Um, it says, and and the pearl shells spangled in um, in the in the fifth in the fifth snow, snow 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 like I mean be, be, um, because there is a relationship between the snow and the sand because it's fragile. Ah, okay, it is fragile, isn't it? What happens to corals when they are no more? What happens? What happens is that you have no more buffer to protect the coast. You, because, in, for example, in case of a hurricane or a tsunami, you don't have those buffer because they protect the, the, um, the coast. They okay. protect uh, the coast. And then it's a habitat for a lot of animals. Right, right. So if you don't have um, the corals, they, it will break the chains of food because you have the small one, then uh, so, so the small animals are um, um, eaten. I would say eaten. Because right? the like coral because protects them. Yeah, yeah. From, like their houses or yes, hibernating. Yes, exactly. This is a habitat for a, a, a lot of species. So you have. So at the end, a lot of species are dying. So definitely, your work is dealing with the environment and the issue yeah. of environment and how um, environment is crumbling. In our, exactly. In our world. Exactly. And so it's not it's only in the Caribbean. It's I mean it's uh, in the world. In so, the world. So 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 if we do nothing, right, it's gonna go on forever. Right. Right. And so <laughs> you're using your art to say a message. Exactly. You're using your art to mm -hmm. to talk of to more talk about, more the, about the, it. the issue and bring attention to yes. this particular and, cause. And, and and also because they tend to forget about the Caribbean. Okay. So <laughs> that's why, it, that's why, that's why it, it's really important for me to talk about um, of this and generally to talk about uh, the Caribbean because it's not only um, for, for the coral, it's all, also for the people who depend on fishing. That's true. It's, and, and also um, and on an economic level because if you don't have those corals because it's a tourist attraction. So if you don't have it, a, a part of the, um, of the tourism economy will shrink. Yeah, so it's important every it's way, a, yeah. every way, and like you said, protecting animals and the, you know, the fish and everything that we definitely use. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> excellent, excellent. So this is the fourth one, and some of the other ones we've had images of, and and um, yeah. So this is a, this is a beautiful studio. Yeah. Thank I you. Think this, was a, this is a piece that you did. A, a long while. time ago, a yeah. long time ago, because I did a series uh, about the sunset. Yeah, sunset. In the I just wanna. <laughs> so fun. I'm just gonna pan your studio a little bit. Okay. It's very nice. Any other other images you want to speak of? I know these images over here we've had at International Visions Gallery. And we had this was 2013. 13. Yeah. For having me at your studio, I appreciate it. I'm
happy to be here in Barbados. Yes. Um, and this has been a great trip, and not only a great trip, but also just a learning experience yes. from every every part. Okay. So thank you. You're always welcome yes. in Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> the beautiful climate is just it's really great. So okay. signing off from Barbados, coming back to DC soon <laughs> with artists. Yes. Yes. <laughs> See you.